hello. Hello, Connecticut. I'm Renee Danino. Thank you so much for watching. You're not going to want to miss this segment. Well, number one, because my nephew's in it and my friend, of course, too. But we're going to end with our very first ever new installment on this program. Hello, Connecticut Smiles. First and foremost, though, please welcome to our program Animal Control Officer Roz Nenninger from the Wolcott Police Department. Uh, and then my nephew. Hello, Mallard. He's a good boy. He's so cute. Look at how handsome he is. It's probably from my side of the family. It's got to be. It, it, it has, has to be. be. <laughs> you know, first I think your mother takes credit for this. Grandma. We got to give grandma Can credit. Can you say, say hello to grandma? Say She's to watching grandma. you right yes. now. Now. Yes, what? please yes, say Mal, hi. Mal, look the other way. Yeah, he's She'll really still love you anyways. Yes. All right, first and foremost, let's talk about being an animal control officer. You were involved in a lot of uh, animal-related incidents, not only just in Wolcott, but across the state. What are you seeing, and what do you hear other animal control officers seeing uh, with what's going on, whether it be livestock, cats, dogs, all kinds of animals in the state of Connecticut? We're seeing so much abandonment. The struggle is real, Renee. Yeah. The struggle is real. Um, if you don't see it all over um, social media, you're seeing it all over the news, you're seeing it all over the state of Connecticut. Um, the climate out there is absolutely insane at this point. Um, we've, you know, talked amongst each other, try to figure out why and what is going on, whether it be economics, whether it be housing crisis, um, you know, health care for these guys, just everything. There's no real rhyme or reason to what is going on. And the level of the extent of what we are seeing at this point is extraordinary to what we have seen in past years. And you work with our local leaders. You work with the Department of Agriculture sometimes. You get called on different cases, as do many other animal control officers across the state. But there seems to be quite a lot of them now that are in areas that we would consider rural or even like farmland for the state of Connecticut that, that we don't necessarily hear about. But, but the, the dumping of animals now has become quite prevalent. I think what we're seeing is a lot of, we, we've been waiting for years for the bomb to drop right. after COVID from all the animals that came yeah, in, from everybody that was saying. home and okay. everything else like that. So I think what we're seeing now is we are finally seeing the aftermath of COVID. Which is hit. terrible. And people, you remember in COVID, people didn't go in each other's houses. They didn't visit each other. Right. So people were able to just be behind closed doors. Yeah, And it's not necessarily city and like you said it's not necessarily rural you never know yeah. what's happening behind that closed door well we need to do a fundraiser for you for the Wolka Police Department and yes. the Wolcott Shelter. Yes, Mallard do. is the face of it he's the supermodel um, and is. you're having Pawtoberfest. Pawtoberfest the 11th year yeah. Here we go. And so. depending on how you consume this program, um, the, the actual uh, Pawtoberfest is on October 6th. Um, so it's going on right now if you're watching it on October 6th, or it's going to be happening on October 6th if you're watching it, you know, on the live stream. So there's all the details that you need to know. I think I said that in a, the most least confusing way as possible. But it is a fundraiser for the, the shelter, for all you do with the animals. How important are these funds? The funds are vitally important, as well as... People are struggling economically. Mm -hmm. Municipalities are struggling right. economically. And again, like I said, what we're seeing is right. exasperated. So the funding is very important. We start out that day um, at 9 o'clock at Johnny B's on Meriden Road in Wolcott with a poker run. Mm -hmm. And kick stands up at 10 o'clock. And those guys go off and do what they want to do, and they go to the spots. And then we start at 1 o'clock with Pawtoberfest, and that runs till 6 p.m. It runs later than that because people don't leave because well, it's such a good time. But you have the best raffles everywhere. Look at oh this guitar right here. Do you see this guitar? Is this, it beautiful? This is, is that your phone ringing? It is my Someone's phone calling ringing. you. Is yeah. that your husband? Tell him you're busy right I now. I told him I'm with you today. I just and he was jealous. You can't get that phone. He's anyway, jealous. James Taylor signed this guitar. So people can actually bid on that now. How much is it to bid on this James Taylor signed guitar? So we're doing a silent auction on okay. this. The reserve is starting at $500 on this. If you're a James Taylor fan, could you imagine? You want to see what I went through to get this. Well, Woo! Yeah, you know, if it's necessarily legal, and we well, shouldn't talk about well, yeah, it on no, camera. No, I was out of state. That's but all that's I'm fine. Saying. It was out of state over the border. But you can come <laughs> down. You're going to meet Mallard. You're going to meet Raj. You're going to meet an animal uh, loving community. I'll be on site as well. We do this every single year in Wolcott. We raise a lot of funds. Uh, we talk about adoptable pet picks. We talk about animal kindness. A lot of animal groups and activists come to this event. Look at. I want this guitar so bad. You have no idea. 
I, I'm telling you. I'm telling, I'm telling you. you. So if you want to be a part of this event, and look, at, there's lots of great swag. You're going to see a lot of great people in the community. Um, and again, if people want to be a part of it, can they just show up day of? Day of. Day of. 20 bucks. You're in the door. All right. Lots of food, raffles, and fun. All so right. So the only thing we do ask is... No pets. No pets. Yep, just want to come and do that. All right, now speaking of pets, I want to show and highlight some incredible pictures. We want you to send us your smile. Wolfie and I are looking for smiles, so start sending your pet smiles of your kids or you to be featured on Hello Connecticut. We're compiling some of the cutest smiles to share to brighten up your day. So let's take a look at some of our photos. This one's submitted by Janet. Uh, look at this, Hank Morganti, AKA Hanky Panky Tater Tot and Toasted Marshmallow. That's all the names that this dog has from Janet. Next up, submitted by Nicole Strickland. Here's Fenrir oh, Togo Williams. He's got teepees. He's two years old and he's a big cuddle bug. Next up, we've got a photo submitted by Kelly Fox. This is Willow Pixie. <laughs> <laughs> Willow smiling after her new haircut. And look at this photo submitted by Anne Marie. These are so cute. The brown and white is uh, their boy Bronson and the black is their girl Lola. Two pups living their best lives. And look at this photo submitted by Stephanie. This is oh. Luke. Landon and Bruce Banner. <laughs> that is so cute. Send us your photos. Now I'm going to also ask all of my guests that are still here, come back on screen from the Hartford Marathon Foundation. We still have Connor and Ray, our announcers. Come sit by our friend Mallard. We have Krista from Harlow's Heroes. We want to remind everybody to some more great local events across our state. The Hartford Marathon Foundation, that event takes place, the Eversource uh, Hartford Marathon on October 19th. We've got our golf tournament on October 18th and October 6th. We We've got Pawtoberfest. You have just watched our third edition of Hello Connecticut. You watch again for free on our streaming app, WFSB Plus, or check out these stories on my Facebook and Instagram pages, People and Pets. When we're kinder to animals, we're kinder to people. I'm Renee Thank Dino. you, Renee. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.